Hi, my name is Ira Hoffiger and I have a show here at uh, Dale's Gallery downtown on Fiskert Street and it just opened tonight on April 8th and will be going till May 4th and the show is called Urban Settings. Um, this is one of, um, one of the pieces I have here in the show and uh, um, my influence and my inspiration definitely comes from urban spaces. I, um, I love big cities and they just inspire me and I'm, I feel really, uh, I find them very fascinating. So I love to study city architecture, urban planning. I, um, I love to, um, you know, I come from Europe and I, lo I love to think about um, planning um, in the way, not like looking at one house, at one shape, but I love to think about cities where you have the challenge for urban planners, where you have um, uh, shapes or structures that have been there for hundreds of years and then you plan something new and how to find a way to communicate between those um, new structures and that's what I'm doing in a way in my art. I, um, I try to simplify the Im images uh, to a minimum, to really simplify it and to say what do I want to say um, with my work. I want to have a simple painting but still I want the shapes to communicate with each other. I want to um I have, I'm interested in, uh, in exploring the concept of uh, organized shapes versus cha chaotic lines or chaotic shapes and that's what I'm trying to show here. So I work with a very, very simple um, color palette and I also uh, use the, the raw, the look of the raw linen. I incorporate that into my paintings. Um, also what I do is I, I build my own canvases because of that reason to be able to use the raw linen and also um, I, uh, I, ex I implore uh, drawing and painting at the same time in my work. So here I, um, I work in uh, several different styles. I don't want to, um, because sometimes people say like, oh, you know, this and this has this style. And I don't want to um, have like a brand mark and say like, oh, that's my style. I work, I'm definitely influenced by urban uh, uh, shapes and urban uh, uh, um, ideas. But I, um, as you see, work with totally different um, color palettes and also, um, compositions. So here in these uh, paintings that I have here, also again, you know, I'm working with city but I'm exploring uh, color and just going into different color palettes. And what you see in some of these paintings, I, uh, I work with resin. So I, um, I, um, I have this idea of, you know, this play between the contrast between uh, flatness and depth. And um, so what I do is I, I paint flat spaces because I, you know, I have no interest in painting an apple or, you know, a shape that comes out that looks three-dimensional. So I paint it totally flat, but then I want to create depth in a different way. I want to show depth, um, for example, uh, with resin. So what I do, I, I paint and then I pour a layer of resin and then I, I add more paint. And like this, I create an incredible depth to the painting which gives it a very specific
So um, what I use here is a totally different idea and um, as I said I also love in my work to uh, think about the process. So um, I love the inspiration and I feel extremely privileged to be able to make art. I think um, when you are able to be creative it's extremely it's something extremely powerful so um, um, you know you have the inspirational part but then also what I love and really enjoy is to think about the process so what I'm doing I, I collect metal from the junkyard and uh, in order to like include it into my work I take the metal pieces put it pour them put them out on the ground and then put a canvas on top and then roll um, with a roller and use like paint and then I take the canvas and then only start and stretch it over the canvas so like these pieces that you would see here that comes from the metal and uh, so and that's how I start the painting so I what I like to play with is to, to come from uh, uh, from somewhere and to start the painting so the painting you know has a long history um, before I even start to paint and uh, so then again using my urban um, my urban inspiration so I have started also to work with a uh, photo transfer so I use photos that I have taken in big cities and I transfer them uh, and then I you know again with drawing and painting and I I, you know, I like to um, again explore the idea with the flatness. I use flat, organized shapes, and then uh, play with um, chaotic lines. And I, you know, till I find a, a composition that really works well for me. And then what I do again is I work with resin, which which gives it an incredible depth. And when you look closely here you will see that you know, I pour resin and then I put another layer of paint which, which shows that you know, it's a very deep painting. I also use writing um, it's, um, that I do while I paint the painting so it is not to be read. It's not a, a message that I write onto the painting. It's just like um, a language again uh, trying for the shapes to communicate with each other. Just like um, trying to find language um, between the, the structures and the structures that should find a way to communicate and that's why I use language and that's why I'm writing but it's not supposed to be there to be to be read. So here I have a piece that I would like to show you um, that is really special to me and I've been working on this for a while and it is it, it kind of implores or uses I use everything that I that comes out of me all my inspiration I try to put it all in one painting so that is um, for one part the metal pieces it's steel and aluminum that I find at the junkyard and I collect it and I put it together already as a composition and I weld it together and um, and around these metal pieces that I find I build four canvases and uh, to make like a first composition and then I um, and then I start with the painting so uh, also in this piece I have implored um, photo transfer again with pictures that I found or that I, I, uh, I took and then I um, put these on and I, I built up my composition again with uh, using drawing and painting but again I, um, I have no interest in filling the, the whole canvas I have no interest in like having uh, you know, it is all said, even though there's lots of empty spaces. I think that's a, a, a big power of a painting if you can allow it to have an empty space. So, and, um, so as you see, I have steel pieces, like as collage pieces onto it. And again, I use uh, drawing and painting.